So F in the chat for all those who can't join us live. Um, okay, so which how what order do you guys want to do this in? I'm going to, obviously for this one, the box topper is the big hit. And then for the collector, is hopefully every pack is a big hit. So let's just get going. So I don't know much about these sets. Hopefully you guys know a little bit more than me. I just know about fetch lands, and, and that's all I'm looking for. Um, just want to say thank you guys for the official first Timmy Eat World, uh, I guess, Twitch chat slash YouTube later video. Really excited to have all 20 of you with me, or four or five people with me. Um, really excited to go for these packs, and uh, maybe we'll do some fun giveaways. I guess I should have cut my nails. All right, so here we got the box topper. That's the big boy. That's what everybody cares about. We'll save that one a little later. And we got our 20 pack collectors with two box toppers. So um, if we don't get an expedition scalding tarn, we're all gonna be very unhappy. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with these uh, regular boosters. I'm gonna open up uh, some of these and then just bring the, the collectors in to keep you guys listening, to keep you guys interested. So uh, for folks who are following along live, let's do a giveaway. Somebody say my favorite color. The first three packs will uh, th first three packs will go to you. Just guess my favorite color. Alright, nobody's gonna guess. Hit me in the chat, favorite color. Orange, wrong Ben, wrong. I'll give you one pack for that. First pack, pack then. My favorite color is blue. So uh, we're gonna have to do a different giveaway later. But, you know, I don't care much about these regular boosters. I don't know much what's going on in standard. I don't know what people are playing. Um, I'm just here for the fetches. So uh, hopefully the focus is good for you all. I see it's a little bit too bright. Uh, starting off with a, looks like what a, Alt Art uh, Dwight Schrute. Uh, you can see that there. Nice little foil. I think that's actually like six or seven dollars. Um, so we're happy about that, I think. Um, and then Mad Maddening Cacophony. Uh, don't know, don't care. Then I think this is in reverse order. So the foil's up front, unless I open it wrong. And then we got the comments in the back, which is good for all of us. So hey, Ben, those are, those are, uh, those are for you. If you want them. Uh, if you don't, we'll give them to somebody else. But that's a pretty nice hit off the bat, I think. You guys can tell me. Um, I think I got Card Kingdom going in this other this other section here, so I can always check some prices. But I don't think those are be much big money in here. Maybe five, ten dollars. But all right, let's get on to pack number two. All right. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Grack Mar, Skyclave Ravager. Anybody like that? That ugly guy? Three headed Hydra there. And we got a Bale and Veil and an Alt Art Brush Fire and Elemental. So nothing huge there. Alright, uh, moving on. Anybody have anything fun you want to talk about? Any cool stuff going on? Well, that's a cool little art. You know, people are love these cup islands. I don't know how I feel about them, but uh, we got a Cargan Intimidator. Uh, I think that's that's the hot garbage, and a bunch of commas on commas. Just get through those. So I was pretty disappointed about this. I at least thought we could have, get a fetch land in these draft booster boxes. So I so I bought a bunch of them, only to find out we can't. Um, so that's that's a bummer. Uh, all right, off the back we got a cleric of deep depths. Uh, look at that focus, guys! Come on, look at that! Look at that foiling. Can I get an F in chat for foil? Ooh, and then our first mythic of the day, the Seagate Restoration. Um, actually, pretty pretty pumped for this. I was hoping to get one of these. Um, no, Dan, we can't talk about your three and zero weekend. Uh, I got beat by my own modern decks uh, by my brothers over the weekend, so uh, it's a little, I don't know. Maybe I should be happy, maybe I should be sad. Well, you know, they don't even have their own modern decks, so who's the real loser in this mix, Dan? And I think it's, I think it's, I think it's you. 
you guys must be wondering, hey Tim, how do you have uh, two cameras? I got two cameras, so that's my dedication to you all. We got an Orn Reef Ooze, uh, one of these counter things. Can you all see that? When it actually the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Whenever it attacks, put a plus one counter on each attacking creature. That seems like something people would play in a counter deck. I could be wrong, but uh, I will never play green. Green for suckers. All right, I gotta get this organized. You might be thinking, why do you have, why do you have a token and a land out there? I don't know. I, I'm just learning as we go. So I'd like to see more talk in the chat, guys. This is a little lonely. I, you know, I can't hear you. I want to know I'm doing a good job. Give me some positive feedback. And can you subscribe too? I think I get three hundred dollars for each subscriber. Uh, so we got a kite, kite sail cleric. Uh, one, one. With a little kicker thing and then we got a crag crown pathway um one of those sort of cheap fetches um but those are cool i, I actually like these cards a lot for commander I, I think they're better than a lot of those um you know dual lands enemy lands whatever you want to call them that that are complicated i don't like the complicated stuff just let me choose which color i want to play um definitely could have used that over the weekend where i could have one if I had an island. Got a little uh, Cargan War Leader here. Cute little, cute little lady. Look at that hip turn. Look at that. Yeah, she's thinking about more than just war. I can tell you that much, guys. Ooh, and uh, Vel Cult Awakening. This is another one of those dual lands. Um, when this first came out, uh, I think it's Channel Fireball. That if you, if you're one of the first five people to order one of these, you got for one cent. So I got one of these coming for one cent. And I want it for my commander deck. Put any number of cards from your hand on the bottom of your library, then draw that many cards plus one. So I play a couple draw commander decks. I play a um, this Mizzet commander deck that I want to draw cards in, and I also play a, a Nekis Art deck that I want to force other people to draw cards in. And thanks, guys, for, for heeding my uh, request to chat more. You guys are great. Uh, Luminarch Aspirant. I'm pretty sure that sinks. I don't know what you guys think. It's, it's, the art's not good, I can tell you that much. And and white's not good in standard. Hasn't been good in standard for years. So, um, that's a bummer. I don't know about you guys, but the, I think the art on these new cards is too digital looking. I want to go back to the days where it looked like it was painted in crayon and colored pencil. These just don't... I don't get excited for these. Here's our second mythic of the day, Angel of Destiny. Um, not sure what that one does. Let's read it. Flying in double strike. Uh, two planes, three colorless to cast. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you and that player gain that much life. At the beginning of your end step, if you have at least 15 more life than your starting life total, each player Angel of Destiny attacks this turn loses the game. That seems like a little fun commander piece. Do you guys love that? Give me a heart. Give me a heart in the chat if you love that. Give me a heart. Somebody. You guys suck. I even watch you anymore. Do I even have people? I do. I got four. Four people are watching, so. 369 for the angel. I'll take it. That's a junior bacon cheeseburger. Uh, Master of Winds. Nice little foil there. Um, don't think it's. And thanks for the heart. The purple heart very inclusive uh, nice looking foil on these and, and they haven't been bowing like the old stuff and then we got a a raging island huge monster crab zero seventeen. 17 um, you know that's the kind of crabs you can't get rid of with one visit to the doctor uh, if you know what I'm saying that's kind of a cool card I was excited to see that crab when it came out I don't, obviously nobody's using it but just kind of a goofy neat card All right, here we go. Uh, Tabarax Hoax, Hope's Demise. Um, another one of these cards that I think, look at that, heart just looks boring to me. Everything now is just a picture of a thing in the middle of something. You know, it's just not, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. So I should, Wizard should give me a job. Art director. All right, I think we're about a quarter of the way through here. We'll do a giveaway. Uh, at the next chunk. 
Uh, we got a little Palith world sculptor here. Hopefully you all can see that okay. Uh, yes, I do need a laugh track. I think some of these jokes are good. Some of these jokes are good. And, and I'm just sitting alone in a room. It's sad. I wish I had people here to tell me how funny I am. All right, let's get on to this next pack, and then we're going to do a fun little giveaway. Thanks, guys, for following. The next giveaway, you sponsor three. I'll give you three packs, all the contents for the prices. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a uh, cotton-picking minute, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I was really hoping to get this, Jace. This looks like, uh, this looks like anime almost. Zac Efron. I think this is like the Zac, Zac Efron Mirror Mage. Um, but that's a cool one. I'm pumped about that. Hopefully you guys are too. I don't think it's big bucks, but if I wanted one Mythic from this, that would be that'd probably be the one. So bad news for whoever wins the next giveaway. I just got a Jace, and you're not going to. But okay, three packs. What's my favorite food? Favorite food for three packs. Come on, guys. This is like $4 shipping. Four dollars for three packs. Just all right, no guesses. Four ten for Jace. Okay, that's pretty good. I still wanted it. Sometimes these things have value just because you're a Timmy, you know. Gummies are good. That's my favorite candy. I'll allow it. Pizza was the correct answer, but I'll allow it. So Dan, these packs are for you. Good luck, my man. Hope you have better luck than I've had uh, with Sendikar over the last few days. All right. So you got a Vazerol, the split current. You see that? Another piece of garbage art, but there you go. Ooh, Grandma Spaghetti. Good guess there. Dan, if you want these commons, I'll give them to you too. All right. Next one here for Dan. We got a Craig weight uh, Craig plate ball off uh, six six four four enters the batter field with four plus one plus one. You might play this in your little counter deck, right, Dan? This might be a good one. All right, one more chance for a mythic here, Dan. May the odds be ever in your favor. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, Sky Clave Shade. And that's the weird extended art. That's kind of a good one, I think. I don't know if there's any money there, but... Um, Dan, look that one up. See what you got. I think that's a good one. All right. I think you got a good one. Let's see. All right, we got to... Maybe about halfway through the box now. Hopefully I haven't bored you guys. I know you're all here for the collector's box, but... The longer the stream, the more advertising money I get. And that's just how it works. We've got a Dread Worm. Uh, Dread Worm, Bad Teeth. Foil there. And uh, Kaza, Royal Chaser. This, I think, is a pretty good Is It card. I, I play Is It in Commander. Uh, so I think I want this one. It's a uh, one red, one blue to cast. Flying Haste, one, two. Tap it. The next instant or sorcery card that you cast this turn costs X less to cast, where X is the number of wizards you control. Okay, that's actually hot, hot garbage. I thought that was good. It's not. Sorry about that. I'll let you guys down. All right. Let's see. We got another uh, mammoth here. Woolly mammoth. Uh, garbage. What are the cards you guys are hoping to get from this? You know, I, I don't know much about standard. I know the the big four colored uh, Uzi thing is is the big one. Olaf or Olaf, whatever it is. Uh, Relic Robber. That's a good goblin. I got a nice little goblin commander deck too, so I'm good with that. That's Gucci. All right. Got about. 12 packs left here, guys, before we get to the good stuff. Uh, Archpriest of uh, Diocese of Syracuse here. Um, I don't think that's any good. No white cards are good. I, I hope we've all realized that together. There's never been a good white card in the history of Magic. 
Except for maybe Sierra Angel is pretty good. And Land Tax. Land Tax is a cool card. Uh, all right. Uh, Scatter Skull Charger. Uh, I think this one was pretty pretty dope. Uh, two, two red to cast, one colorless. It's a 4-3 Giant Warrior. Kicker 2. Trample in haste. If it was kicked, it answered the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it at the beginning of your end step. If it doesn't have a one, plus one, plus one counter, return it to your hand. Might be some good, fun synergies with that one. Who knows? All I do is copy deck lists from... Yeah, all I do is copy deck lists from Goldfish and then buy all the cards. So if you're looking for deck construction tips, you're in the wrong place, guys. All right. Confounding Contortium. Too long, didn't read, uh, but I think this is a couple bucks. I've seen this on a couple uh, in a couple decks recently. All right, we're almost at the good stuff. I got one stack left. We'll do another giveaway. Ooh, there's another mythic, uh, Scourge of the Skyclaves. Uh, I don't know. This one I think is worth a couple bucks. Uh, one black, one colorless to cast. Uh, four colorless, one black kicker. When you cast this spell, if it was kicked, each player loses half their life. Round it up. Uh, if its power and toughness are equal to its... Wait, let me stop. Its power and toughness are equal to 20 plus... Or minus the highest life total among players. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that one. That might be worth a couple bucks. That seems good. All right, last pack before our final giveaway. Ooh, fourteen dollars, really? Wowzer! I didn't think there was anything of value in here. Next, we got a coveted prize. Hey, speaking of coveted prize, guys, how about a giveaway? Okay, this is our last giveaway of this box, so uh, I hope you're all paying attention. We need uh, my favorite. Actually, Ben, I'm just gonna give this to you. What? Did you have one already? All right, let's do my favorite. Uh, my favorite magic card of all time. Anybody? Bueller? You guys know, if you play with me, you should know this. I'm looking to get it in alpha. If I could just stop buying these garbage draft boosters, I'm gonna buy one. Going once. Uh, Royal Has Assassin's Crack and Ben, these have been gifted to you by the winner. Um, so here's the start of the rest of your magic life. Hopefully you get something really cool here. Um, yeah, hopefully you get something you really love. Uh, first of all, you got that squad commander. There you go, bro. Put that in your, that's your squad commander. That's what you needed. Um, hopefully that's the, the card you needed to, to finish your modern deck that you've been working on. Um, probably not, but next up, a master of wins. Uh, well, I think we got one of these in foil. It might be cool. I don't think so, but hopefully you like it, Ben. And for you, Ben, the good news is the shipping is free because I'll probably just drop it off at, at your house or something. And, ooh, ancient green warden mythic foil, Ben. I think that's worth money. I'm going to look it up. Uh, let's see, we got a foil. Oh my gosh, Ben, that's worth $23. Wow. You'll never have to work again. Wow. And Dan, you gifted him that, so you gotta feel like, you gotta feel pretty terrible. Or great. Oh my god. Oh, Rudy, Forsaken Monument. Ben, you just hit the GD jackpot of Zendikar booster packs. I'm actually thinking, like, can I delete this whole stream and just keep these and cheap Ben out of it? The answer is no, because I, because I, because you're my loyal follower. If you weren't, it'd be different. Um, but no, that's really awesome, Ben. Seriously, good packs there. All right, let's move on. I think that's super exciting. I wish those were mine, but they're not. Um, okay, moving on. We got Hagra. Okay, look at the abs on Hagra. Can you guys see that? Is my camera stuff good enough? She's been doing Zumba, guys. Look at that. It's a shame that she's going to die. Or is that her pet? 
all that work to get nice abs and you just die. You know, life is short. Life is weird. Short and weird. Wow, those abs, man. I didn't know like a zombie could have abs. Not eating enough. Gotta be present to win. Bam, you have to show that you're present if you want to collect those cards. I need to uh, up in the chat. All right, we got a Nighthawk Scavenger. This is a perfect example of what I was talking about earlier, guys. Look at this art. It's just like a person or a thing in the middle of the frame and then some garbage behind it. They're so lazy. Lazy. No creativity here. It's probably because Matt is pumping out new cards every month, but man, I just think it's boring. Get some good stuff. Oh, then your cards are falling over. Or maybe they're my cards. Then you gotta chime in, man. You gotta put that dinner down. We got a foil swampy here. That's kind of dope. I like it. And a crawling barons. That's not dope. Undope. Don't like it. All right, we got about six packs here so far. Ben, oh, oh, Ben, were you here for your hits? I need a, I need confirmation. You need to name the exact cards you got um, in order of value, and then that's the only way you can get them. Ben, you don't mean that. Trust me. A Legion Angel. I think that's a few dollars. Um, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I've seen people play with that. I could be wrong. Ben, before, before you so graciously give up your packs, man, you never have to work again if you get these cards. You could quit your job. You don't have to work for that oppressive boss of yours anymore. All right, we got a foil Spitfire Legion. Look at that little gullet there. I feel like I'm getting that as I get older, guys. You know that double chin? I See, I connect with this guy. We both need cool sculpting. Uh, and then we got an inscription, a ruin. Um, I think that's also hot trash and I don't resonate with that because there's no double chin. All right, four packs left, fellas. Let's, uh, nobody makes dinner here. We only got four people. So if one pe person's making dinner, we don't have a full party. Uh, what do we got here? Terra Ju, Ju, Terra, Terra. Tar, tar, uh, Paragon. Tarjuju. Tarjuju. Paragon. Garbage card. If you can't pronounce it, it's not good. Alright, three packs left. Let's get something awesome. So far, Ben's the big winner. Alright, we got a Taunting Ar Arbor Mage Foil and the Trickster. Um. Sorry, that was off frame. Uh, Zara Sand the Trickster. No money. Oh, shoot. My stacks just fell, fellas. Speaking of stacks, Ben, you hit big, man. You gotta, you gotta reverse this video. You got the, the highest, most valuable magic pack I've seen in a long time. All right, down to two packs. Ooh, little uh, Expedition Clearwater Pathway. That's that's good. I'm surprised we actually only got one of these. Wow. Only one of these, huh? All right. Well, that's, I think, a good one. I like that one. Not as good as Ben's card. And our last pack of the day, fellas, Angel Heart Protector. Uh, no good. And uh, Yershurn. Yershurn, Implacable Earth. Implaceable Earth. Um, replaceable card because it sucks. Um, so overall, I'd give that box a, I don't know, 4 out of 10. Uh, with If it weren't for Ben's pack there, I think we'd be really, we'd be really hurting. That was a double mythic pack. Let me just pull out the mythics here quick. I think maybe a 4 mythic box. If we were lucky, um, we did get that that one zombie with the good abs, and then that one guy with the gullet that we all empathize with. Uh, we got the Zac Efron Jace, so we should be happy about that. Love Zac Efron. Um, and we got the Angel of Destiny, which I think we should be happy with, and uh, Seagate Restoration, which I am happy with. 
um, though it doesn't replace the, the cost of the cards. And then since for the sake of um, counting, we have two extra mythics here, that, that Ben one, Forsaken Monument, and the Ancient Green Warden. So all in all, six mythic box. I guess I guess that's pretty pretty standard um, for a standard box. Get it? Um, so let's get to the good stuff. Who wants to open one of these? I can't give them away, but I think let's open one of these in between the collector's packs and we'll get stuff going. I'm gonna try to my best to uh, to surprise you guys. Okay. All right, cool. This is the back of the card. Any guesses? We got a Scalding Tarn in here. We got an Arid Mesa. We got a Cabin of Souls. Or uh, you know what I really want is the Luxury Suite. I think that's a fun little card, um, and I'm definitely bending this trying to get it out. Um, crap, man. All right, I'm not gonna be able to get this out without showing it. So, ready? Bountiful Promenade. Do you guys like that? I think that's a bad one. I'm going to be honest. Even though it kind of looks like uh, building from Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, uh, the Jedi Temple, which is cool. I don't think that's a big money card. Um, but that's okay. It's an uh, expedition. And hopefully we got plenty more to come. All right. So for all you loyal followers, uh, guess what? We're into the good stuff. Zendikar. Rising. Collector's. Box. So let's get the fun stuff going here. So I'm not going to spend too much time on the commons, but I will glaze through them just so you can see the beautiful foiling. So first time I think Wizards did a good job with foil in a while. Um, I haven't noticed them bowling. So our first uh, expedition, or full art I should say, variant as they say, is a confounding contortium. Not sure if there's any value there, but... Um, you guys can look it up. And then we got a Nissa Foil Mythic. Pretty dope. I don't know about value, but that's pretty cool. Really looking looking good good in the foil there, Nissa. Then I think it goes to uh, two of these variants and then into the big stuff. We got a uh, Branch Loft Pathway. And I can't show you the back of this without looking at the next one. So let's just get to it. Oh, Spitfire Lodge. Now, we talked about this guy earlier and his gullet. It looks like it's getting worse here. So I'm not sure if this was taken when he was older. Maybe a few too many burgers. But it's definitely getting worse. And a Full Art Forsaken Monument Foil. I think that's super dope, actually. I don't know about money, but that's, that's a thriller to me. And we lost Ben. Later, dude. Thanks for joining All right. Well, I think that's an okay first pack. I don't know what to expect with these. A little overpriced, but um, they're fun. Thrilling. That's a nice mountain. I'm going to keep that mountain aside. Oh, we got a Grackmar. I don't know if that's any good. And then we got another one of these Kerrigan Intimidators. No good. Skip through these. And then for the big reveal... We have a Lotus Cobra. Eh, I think this just got banned. Ooh, Forsaken, three bucks. Pretty good. And we got a Territorial Sky Cat, Sith Cat. I don't know, kind of looks like my puppy. And Inscription Ruin, full art. That's a garbage. That's a, that's garbage. Sorry to let you guys down here. All right, let's see what we have so far. I'm going to stack these aside, get them out of the way. I don't know, what the, what's the high card so far? It's got to be that Forsaken, um, especially out of these collectors. I think that's the best we've seen so far. Uh, let's see. Hopefully we get just, I think I've seen one or two fetches in these. we got a Soul Shatter. That's kind of a cool looking, kind of Japanese art. I take back everything I said about the bad art. Um... And then we got an Archon of Amiria. I don't know if that's any good either. Get through these. Dreadworm Prowling. And we got one of these little flippable lands. And uh, Zag Zagraph. 
uh, Zagraph. I don't know about this one. Do you? I think it's okay. I think it's okay. We'll be okay. We just need a fetch. We gotta get a, a good fetch. Euro was the only card banned. I don't know. I, I think Lotus Cobra is banned, but I could be wrong. I don't keep up on standard. I, they could ban everything. I wouldn't care. Another one of these cool mountains. And then we got a uh, Orn Reef Ooze. I think that's a pretty good card. I think that's going to find some, some maybe Commander, Modern, find a place in a few decks. And then we got an Inscription of Insight. That's our first Inscription of Insight, though I don't think these inscriptions are very good. All right. And then finally, we got another one of these Clearwater Pathways. I think that's the second of these we've got today. Um, these are cool, though. I like I like these little flippable lands. And a Grackmar. We, that's like our fifth Grackmar of the day, but that one's foil. That's okay. Not great, guys. All right, let's go for our expedition here. We've got none so far on this on this box. I think this was searched. What do you guys think? Rudy got his dirty little hands on this. Uh, we got a Magmatic Channeler. Uh, I don't know if that's any good, but that's a cool looking art there. I really like that. Nighthawk Scavenger again, and Paleth the World Sculptor again, and a Foil Soul Shatter again. We're seeing a lot of duplicates here, guys. I mean, I, I, I haven't gotten into big hits, but I've gotten a lot of these same. Got a lot of these same ones here. All right, our numbers are dwindling. That's okay. Let's get something good. Uh, Coral Helm, Coral Helm Chronicler. Okay, we got some good feeling on this pack. I like it. Got the Squad Commander. Ben's got one of these in his collection that he doesn't want. And uh, Sky Cleave Shade. I think that was a good one. Um, this this sort of alt art. Rune Crab. Ruin my day, crab. Then we got a shield, a Lovala shield of the Seagate. I think that's not what we want either, guys. Basically, we want a fetch. So if you were feeling that pack, I think we were a little off. But maybe this is the one. All right, let's see. Let's just skip through these a little faster. This is going to take uh, full art, Shatter Skull Charger. I'm okay with that. I like that card. A Null Priest of Oblivion. Not great. Ooh, we got a Full Art Jace. We gotta be happy about that. Look at that. If that's not Zac Efron, I don't know. That They definitely just took a picture of him and used it for this. Then we got uh, another of these World Sculptors. I think that's our fourth World Sculptor. And I don't think I like that very much. Maybe you guys do. I certainly don't. All right, let's skip through these again. We've got an Ancient Green Warden, about full art, or yeah, full art. That's got to be worth a couple bucks. We're good on that. Another Luminarch Aspirant. And we got another one of these Flippy Dippies. I think I like this one. Yeah, that's it, is it? Flippy Dippy. And then the Arc Priest of the Arc Priest of the Diocese of Syracuse which is not what we want either. All right, guys, come on. Wake up, get up, let's get something. We're down on this. Is this the worst box opening ever? Maybe. Ooh, that's a cool island, though. All right, we're back on. Ooh, Glass Pool Mimic. I really love this card. So that's good. I'm happy about that. Another flippy dippy, but with a creature on the other side there. We've got a... Bright Pathway, bright, bright Climb Pathway. That's a Flippy Dippy Foil. We've got 23 bucks on that Green Warden, that's good. And another Flippy Dippy. Wow, all these, oh, there we go. Woo, okay, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Celestial Colonnade, baby. I got about 100 of these already, but I don't have any of the Expedition Foils, so. This is a cool card. I played it in my control deck. 
uh, my modern control deck. So definitely going to pop that bad boy into a sleeve and, and shuffle it up. That's a good one. So, so far we got a oh, one expedition box. So uh, that's worth one is better than none. And, and I guess that's all I can really say about that. All right. That's a cool foil cup island. You got to be happy with that too. Ooh, okay. A little mythic, Adrana, the last blood chief, full art. And then we got a swarm shambler. And glass pool mimic again. This one, foil though. That's got to be worth six or seven dollars, I think. All right, folks, we're down to our last two packs here. Uh, we're getting hosed. We'll just call it what it is. But uh, let's, let's look on the bright side here. We got a shield of the Seagate. A wayward beast guide guy. And full art mammoth. Or expedition art mammoth, I guess that, that is. Ooh! Ooh! All right. All right. Call your mama. We got a misty rainforest. Oh, yeah. Look at that foil. Now we're excited, guys. Now we could go to sleep tonight. Oh, yeah. I'm never going to have to work again. All right. That's a good one. Hope you guys are pumped for that one. And our last collector's pack here before we open up the uh, box toppers. We got we got lucky in the last couple, so let's hopefully bring it Let's bring it home. $132 on the Misty Rainforest. Wowzer. I'm quitting my job. This is my new job. Ooh, okay, we got a mythic here. Uh, Turnt Timber, symbo Symbosis, Symbosis. I don't know if that's good, but it looks cool. Uh, and it's a mythic foil. And we got a uh, Nissa Full Art. Now that is a good looking card, if I've ever seen one. I don't know who they used for this. Maybe Anne Hathaway, if they used Zac Efron for the other one. It's very Anne Hathaway-esque. You guys tell me. Oh. And then we got a full art confounding uh, con corn drum, whatever. All right, so let's see what we got here, guys. Uh, in the mythic category, I think we did pretty good. Um, I think we did pretty good. Definitely want to put that up there, that up there. Uh, let's see, got a couple mythics. Got a lot of those uh, flippy dippy lands, but again, I think those are kind of cool. There's the Celestial Colonnade, which is a good hit. Uh, what else did we get? We got this Green Warden, which I think we said was 82 bucks or something, 32 bucks. Uh, Zac Efron, Mirror Mage. And that might be it for the Mythics. Yeah. That's our whole Mythic pool there. So we got a four Mythic, three Expedition Collector's Box. So uh, pretty good, I think. We're pretty happy with that. It's no uh, Double Masters VIP booster, uh, Force of Will pull, but uh, two, two Expedition lands. I think that's about average if you were to really sort of look at these a bunch of these openings so let's get into the good stuff um well i guess we were in the good stuff let's get into the better stuff so we got a zendikar uh rising expedition box topper packs last two things of the day before we sign off thank you guys for joining hopefully you uh follow and hopefully you enjoyed the feat all right ready for the flip Got a Copper Line Gorge, which is not a fetch land and arguably pretty crappy. So let's hope this other one is good. I've heard that in the uh, box hoppers for the collector's pack, you usually get one fetch and one sort of other thing. So there we go. Got the fetch, the Bloodstained Mire. Really nice. Okay, so we got on the day uh, three fetch lands. Yep. No, two fetch lands. That's uh, a bunch of expeditions. So that's it, folks. Gonna sleeve these bad boys up, put them into a deck, and uh, probably lose some some magic games pretty soon here. So 
thanks for joining. Thanks to you who stuck around the whole time. Um, I'll get your giveaways shipped to you uh, early tomorrow morning. And signing off here. Thanks again. Skadoosh.